This is a sword cutter, Husqvarna made, 18 inch cut, this is a good one and we got, we are lucky that we got that one. There are some precautions that you should be careful with that. One of the precautions is to avoid going uphill and cutting the sword. So you have to put the machine in reverse and go back and once you go to your starting point then first make it neutral then f and put in the gear and once you position the machine then you have to drop the blade and this is the best way to go down the slope and cut the sword This is a four wheel machine, so the second uh, precaution is to avoid turning. And that's what we call wheelie, so when you, when you finish this, you have to pull out the blade by picking up the machine. This is about 300 pound machine so be careful with that, you can't pick it up, there are counterweights on each side. So let me show you the, go the sword now. This is the thickness of the sword. It's about one inch thickness. It's say 18 inch thickness. And there are different variable thickness and cuttings. start a uh, sword cutting from quarter inch even half inch and up to two and a half inch sword cutter thickness that depends upon your requirement and the ground condition here's my current ground condition of not too much moisture so that's why the cutting the sword is not coming we are not picking the good quality sword so if I have irrigated it earlier then I think it will be, you will get some good results. We're checking the moisture, yes, let me show you how you will do it. So you will take something, I got here a, a steel bar. So you will insert the steel bar inside the ground by pushing it. So, so far this much I have inserted. So it is about two inches then your ground is okay you can you can go for the uh, sword cutter if your ground is hard and you hardly penetrate the rod inside then your ground is firm you have to irrigate it before for sword cutting so be careful with the condition of moisture so here we have again tested that machine so as I mentioned about the moisture, if the moisture is okay then you have to go for the short cutting, if it is not and you can't penetrate 
the bus steel bar or anything that you have in your hand uh, below two inches or near about two inches then you have to irrigate the area again and then uh, go for the short cutting so thank you for watching please subscribe the channel like the videos